Hi everybody, so today I am doing a Masters of Cinema double Blu-ray review. I don't normally do double Blu-ray reviews, just do them single, but seeing as they're both Masters of Cinema, I decided I would. Uh, first one is A Touch of Zen. This one is a limited edition. Uh, it will be released again, but um, without one of the discs. This um, probably also without the slipcase. This is a total blind buy. Uh, I saw the cover of this. I know you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I saw the cover of this and I just had to have it. I just absolutely loved it. It's supposed to be one of the best martial arts films ever. So yeah, you just take it off, you get a really nice slip case. And these are selling out really really fast so if you want to get this you better get online and buy it fast. Open it up. This is number 130 by the way. And it is, well, I'll just go over this first. You get the Blu-ray disc and the film, the DVD disc and all the limited edition extras. A bit disappointed that they're on DVD and not Blu-ray. I was expecting them to be on Blu-ray. But I suppose it saves some money. A nice booklet. Just flick through it quickly. It is mostly text. There are some pictures. The film is, I think, 1967. And uh, they have also, Masters of Cinema have also released Dragon Inn by the director, which I might go back and um, pick up. I have just actually bought two more Masters of Cinema films, Shane which is also um, a limited edition version and um, I can never pronounce, I don't know how you pronounce it, the rings of Nibelim or something. I've got the, I've got a graphic novel about it. Oh, Wagner's rings. So yeah, you've got a really nice booklet there. I'll just take these out so you can have a look at them, look at the inside artwork. It's not much really. So yeah, it's just a quick look at it. The features, it's quite a lot of features. Uh, 1080 transfer of the film on Blu-ray with progressive on code on the DVD newly transferred English subtitles select scene commentary by critic and Asian cinema expert Tony Waynes uh, King Hu I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly 1932 to 1997 a 47 doc minute documentary on the director Featuring interviews with colleagues, collaborators and historians. Golden Blood, a new video essay by critic and filmmaker David Kenz. A trailer, 36 page booklet. Featuring Who's Director Statement from the Cannes Film Festival. A 1975 interview with King Who by Tony Waynes. The original short story the film is based on, uh, the eight characteristics of the swordswoman in King Who's films and archival images. Uh, yeah, it says here 1970 but I'm sure it's earlier. I mean here it's got 1967 so 
It's three hours long and region B locked. So, but I do believe, just reading some of the forums, there may be a possibility that Criterion might be doing this. But if you've got a multi-region, I do suggest picking this up. It was a bit of a bugger putting this back on. There we go. And the other film that I picked up was Das Testament Des Dr. Mabus. I'm probably saying that totally wrong. I do have the Spielberg, the Spieler. Dr. Mabuse, the speed of the first one, uh, which I found, find a bit strange. Um, this is, I believe, a sequel to this, but the spine number is lower. This is number 69, uh, but this is number 43. It just got, it's both are Fritz Lang films. Uh, the, I think this was on sale uh, on Amazon or, or Best Media. It was only about eight pounds or seven pounds. So, since I had the first one, I thought I might as well pick this one up. So yeah, it's a really, really nice image of the sort of multi-layered images. Spine, same as all Masters of Cinema really. And on the back, same blank. Open it up. Booklet. Um, that's testament. There's Dr. Mabus, uh, cinema sensations, uh, seen from the camera angle, visiting Lang's shooting of the film. I'm not going to pronounce it every time, so I'll screw it up every time. Fritz Lang on Dr. Mabus. Fritz Lang reflects a scrapbook. The Silences of Mabus, Notes on Viewing and Blu-ray and DVD credits. So yeah, really nice booklet. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. And it's nice that it gives you, um, shows you how to watch the film properly. Side, you got the Blu ray and the DVD, and inside a very, very nice image. So, yeah, a very nice addition to the collection.
and that does it for this round I look forward to watching them I think first of all I'm going to watch a touch, a touch of Zen and I hope you enjoyed that please leave comments below take care peace for now bye